Hi. Hi. I'm James George with EnviroBeat. Um, considering Fukushima's near miss of really contaminating Tokyo, I, I think nuclear is still going to be an uphill battle to convince people popularity-wise. Now, Stanford's Mark Jacobson has put forward a 100% renewable plan for all sectors with wind, water, and sunlight. Maybe you could comment on his work, because if there's, if there's an option that doesn't involve nuclear with the risk of proliferation and contamination, why wouldn't we take it? I'll, I'll just get the ball rolling by, by simply saying that all forms of power entail risk, right? And that includes solar and it includes wind. It does. Actually, mortality per kilowatt hour for solar and wind are larger historically than for nuclear. That's an established fact. Um, but to get to the point, uh, can we do it all with solar and wind? There are two issues. Is that the right question to ask? Is that the best way for us to... Does that actually minimize environmental impacts? Does it minimize human health risks? That's a fair question to ask. I'll pass the baton, though. Yeah, this is something I can't uh, vouch for, but, I, uh, but one of the people on the panel men mentioned it while we're having lunch. Uh, you know, Mark Jacobson's work is very interesting, uh, and I think it is seriously flawed in many areas. But just to give you one example, I think, you know, there's this issue of intermittency, that the sun doesn't shine at night, the wind doesn't blow all the time, and, you know, it, there, if, if we have uh, uh, computerized global, I mean, the nationwide for the USA grid uh, that optimizes the distribution of power uh, so when the wind's blowing in one place and not in another, then we can ship the, um, the electricity from one place to another. Uh, that's fine. That gets rid of part of the issue of intermittency, uh, but in a limited way. Uh, but I think that the, what Mark Jacobson says is that another way to help solve that intermittency problem is to build a whole lot of dams so that we have hydro backup. Uh, and they, uh, as Ken Caldera has mentioned, um, you know, building another 50 Hoover dams in the United States would have a serious environmental impacts. And doing that worldwide would have devastating impacts uh, on the lesser developed nations of the world. So I, I think that there are issues of uh, social responsibility that are not addressed by a lot of the things that come out of people's work like Jacobson's work in particular. You know, without going into detail, if you make unrealistic assumptions, you can end up with unrealistic conclusions, and I think that's what Mark Jacobson has done. The, the goal is not to make a renewable energy system. The goal is to make the most environmentally advantageous energy system we can while providing us with affordable power. And I think if a, a clear analysis of that will show that nuclear will be part of that story. We have a question from this lady. Um, I, my question is twofold. One, um, I'm particularly